Hi, this is Greg Hill with WeAreChangeVictoria.org and Freedom Free For All TV. I'm here with the new police chief for the uh, for Victoria and Esquimalt. Um, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Frank Elsner. I'm your new police chief for the Department of uh, Victoria. So we're here tonight at the Esquimalt City Hall, and we just had an introduction and a quick overview of the um, budget proposal for 2014. And uh, just have a couple quick questions for you. I want to get your perspective. So I had a chance to ask the question inside regarding the difference between statutory law and common law and why it's significant. Perhaps you can explain a little bit about that. Well, probably my best understanding of it is statutory law is, uh, is codified law in that uh, the criminal code, as an example, it's written down, it's very clear, and it's, it's passed by uh, probably, uh, through the legislature. Whereas we talk about uh, um, common law, and that's passed on over the years. It came, it came with us with the, the BNA Act and all that. It came over uh, from uh, England, and it's and it's uh, based on how we've traditionally done it, and the courts have accepted that as being um, something that is uh, proper. I give you an example for common law. For common law, so uh, things like uh, a search subject to an arrest would be comes under common law. Uh, that the principles found there, and, and, the, and the, the courts have accepted that as, as a, a proper um, uh, way of doing business. Okay. Um, and also, uh, I had pre pre questions. Uh, two pre questions. One was regarding the property rights, and the other was regarding the protection of the individual. What is your perspective on uh, the significance of property rights in our country? Well, you know, it, it doesn't come far from back in from England, right? Let's say you're a castle leader. Is you're the king of your own castle, right? So property rights are, are uh, as it relates to your own uh, residence, uh, is paramount in, in our constitution and our laws. And just your own property right, of course, that's uh, it's, it belongs to the individual. So uh, we have a duty to uphold those and, and protect those rights. So with with individual property rights, so that things that fall uh, under statutory jurisdiction that aren't necessarily congruent with common law jurisdiction. Um, and we know that common law jurisdiction protects the individual and their property. Uh, what, uh, what do you do in regards to issues such as um, uh, people that are using drugs, such as marijuana or other drugs, and, and uh, your process for uh, dealing with those people? Well, you have to be a better example, right? It just, uh, like well, with the new Sensible BC campaign, we have the legalization of, of marijuana. Uh, how come it's not always been something that you, as a personal being, uh, have property rights over yourself uh, and over your actions. Why is there? Why do the court? Why do the police take it upon themselves to uh, put people behind bars at the barrel of a gun to uh, stop them from smoking marijuana? Well, that's not the case. Right? But it is. It, it, well, it really is, right? It, it, and that's that's great rhetoric, but it's not. Um, people smoking marijuana isn't. Uh, if you start looking at the uh, actual simple possession charges in this country, very few of those are ever uh, ever before the courts. The courts just can't handle it anymore, right? Legislation is still pretty clear. You can't possess marijuana, right? As much as uh, society now is changing, I think you're going to see that more and more. And so I think over the last, probably the last five or six years, police have been, you've seen a, a difference in the attitudes because the courts are even saying it's not as, uh, this is not something we want to see here. And the, the public sentiment is changing. And so uh, for us, before we bring somebody to before the courts, uh, we want to make sure that it's something that the courts want to see, that's something that's prosecutable, uh, and it's within the, the public and what they want to see from, from the police. And so, uh, you know, when you talk about the barrel of a gun, uh, you know, unless there's some safety issue that's that, and somebody smoking a joint is not that case, right? And so, um, you know, it's still, we still work, you know, the police are always the meat and the sandwich, right? Uh, public sentiment is this, the law is still this, and what we're trying to say is, you know, some help us um, uh, through government, through legislation, through public policy to um, figure out how you want us to um, enforce the law. Just because the public, a big segment of the public says, you know what, we don't think it's, it's bad to uh, uh, smoke marijuana. You know what, I, Prime Minister has never called me and asked my opinion. It doesn't matter, right? The law is pretty clear on how, and so, you know, our officers are really trying to uh, walk a tightrope here to, to allow uh, people their freedoms, as you're talking about, but at the same time uh, being true to, we have a duty and an oath that we have to hold. Right. And so I, I appreciate what, what you're saying, um, 
but at the same time, I think we need to uh, uh, um, really look at statutory law as the overriding. It, it's that that is as a police service of the state. So the statutory law, in your opinion, override common law? It does, it, absolutely. So, and you, you just mentioned your oath. So, who did you make your oath to? Uh, the queen and the, queen. Yeah, the country. Okay. So the queen made her oath to protect the common law. Sure. Okay. So that would that would uh, override any other subsequent statutory law. You know what? So if you made your oath to the queen, then you should be abiding by common law. <laughs> and again, it's semantics. Uh, interesting point, but uh, you know what? At, at the end of the day, um, you know that's a decision that the courts would would, would do. Uh, and again, they're not asking my opinion on it. They're saying, here's here's what we want you to do and how we want. And so the, the tightrope, but again, the, the dance with our officers is to to be uh, respectful of the way public sentiment is, is starting to change, right? And uh, but do that within a framework that we're bound by. And so that's what we're trying to do. Okay, thank you so much for yeah. chatting with us today. Uh, welcome to welcome to the team of Greg Hill with WeAreChangeVictoria.org and Freedom Free for All TV. See you next time.